passage of the energy. Something has to take place here in divine timing when it comes to rejection, wounds, or a celebration that should have taken place. This is connected to a close bond, a marriage. Hmm. I feel like something is happening in divine timing when it comes to something that someone is not wanting to see when it comes to you. I feel there is a very intense vibe when it comes to you, intense energy when it comes to a very strong connection. This is someone who thinks of you often, but they hesitate to come your way or reach out because of what they've done. Not really knowing what to say. This energy is coming out as a twin flame energy. So this is letting me know there's lessons to be learned when dealing with this energy. But I also feel there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love for you, but someone is not knowing how to express it without looking weak. Or so they think. This is someone who is living between worlds. Not sure what they want. This energy. They're unawakened. This is someone who is unawakened to who they are or who they should be. Even unawakened to your energy as well. As this energy is hiding their emotions, their thoughts, as well as their feelings. This is someone who has been through a lot. As well as taking you through a lot. A lot of the things here are very unexplainable. I feel there's emotions here attached to you that are unexplainable ex as well. <laughs> You're coming out as a lost love. Someone feels like they lost the opportunity to have you or reach out to you or have a close bond with you as they go through a dark night of the soul. This is someone who is going through a dark night of the soul to awaken their fears awaken something within self but I feel whatever this is will be done in divine timing I feel this energy is being awakened to their fears when it comes to repeated cycles things that they are doing repetitively hmm. but I feel this is also a cycle of justifying their behaviors I feel like this is someone who is at a crossroads this is someone who has a is at a crossroads when it comes to convenience or attachments where there is highs and lows but I feel something is reaching a peak reaching a climax when it comes to someone and their commitment issues loyalty or the fact that they like to over romanticize situations because they're losing themselves someone has lost their identity trying to keep up with others or show off because they're definitely out of sync I feel like this energy is out of sync with their blessings, which is causing them to go on a detour. I feel like someone is out of sync and they're dealing with small challenges, cycles that are repeating. And it's not easy. It's not easy because they're stuck in limbo looking for a safe space. Yet I feel they're still not learning lessons because there's still no respect. Even though this energy has a lot of love for you, they also have a need to do things their own way. But I feel this energy doing things their own way end up hurting a lot of people. Making you feel like this is just a lost cause for a lost case. You feel like they gave you so-called love. You've awakened to something when it comes to their energy. This could be a breakthrough or soul activation when it comes to romance or affairs of the heart. Someone's thinking about something you said or an argument that's replaying over and over. And they're thinking about how they were unavailable to you. Unavailable to the connection causing friction and conflict for, from a cheating heart. Someone who was not loyal to the connection. They played runner chaser games. Someone played these games causing differences. Possibly causing you to lose hope. Losing hope that they will ever show up for you. This energy is always wanting you to chase or fight for your position. And you're tired of compromising when it comes to love. I feel something has hit a turning point. Something has hit a turning point when it comes to protecting your heart. Because there's a lot of regret. Whether that's on your end or theirs. There's something going on here. 
when it comes to an unplanned event. Someone feels like there were two ways to do something, but they chose the easier route, so they think, but I feel it only brought more problems their way. There's a lot of gossip, a lot of talk. They're hesitating because of what they think that you'll say. Someone thinks that you, your, your words cut deep, but I feel something unplanned is about to happen. An offer will be made. But also, something's about to happen that's not a part of the plan. Whatever this is, it's connected to the karmic energy. This could be third-party interferences or family members. Whatever, whatever this is, they're interfering with this energy's state of being or their state of mind. They need to do some self-care, separate themselves from things that no longer serve them to find a resolution. Someone's thinking about the possibilities, but I feel like they've made you wait for too long. This is someone who was very indecisive about what they wanted. Now they're hesitant because of all the, the conflict, all the talk behind the scenes. Someone knows they did you dirty for no reason. Someone's thinking about all the missed messages or the fact that they were always too busy. Now they're wondering if you even have a time of day for them because they're looking for a safe space. This is someone you've had the hardest time with. Because you have the biggest heart. I feel you have the hardest time understanding or even loving this energy at times as you have learned a lot of things about them the hard way. I feel you love them for the joy they bring at sometimes. Well, the, the joy they bring at times, yet despise the pain as they have once been a part of your brightest moments as well as your darkest hours where they seem to be both good and bad the wrong one and the right one all at once yet this energy is needing to learn a heavy lesson when it comes to respect and loyalty let's get some energy here from the stack holy spirit there's a message here there's a message here for uh, the collective energies. Someone regrets not capturing a moment or staying in the moment with you. But it feels like, like something is brewing. Someone's used to manipulating situations, but they know they have to do things differently if they want to come your way. But I feel like this energy is still trying to numb the pain, still not doing things the right way. And this is why they're always coming up short. Someone needs to really see something for what it is. And if they don't, they's, it's only going to lead to harsher lessons until they get it right. Yet for many of you, reasons the reasons you had to step back it's because you're starting to realize you can't change them or force them to get their shit together. Because the reason they've been avoiding you or a situation with you is because they're holding back more than answers. This is someone who is at a distance, not because you don't deserve an explanation. It's because they really don't have one. Hmm. This is someone who is on the outside looking in, wanting to be back in your good graces. But I feel like they, they've they done so much. They feel like they don't know how to make it right. Someone is thinking about the choices they made, the risks they took. Because they were blinded to the truth. Someone was blinded to the truth when it comes to a soul connection, a close bond, because someone was pretending to be something that they're not, a bad boy. Someone who truly doesn't care when in fact this energy cares a lot. They just tapped into something that was forbidden. Now they think about you a lot because they're crazy about you. Yet this energy has isolated themselves. There's mental instability, broken promises, abusive relationships and behaviors surrounding them. And this energy is going through a dark night of a soul. Someone is working on their inner demons, but 
it's harder than they thought. Someone's trying to come to terms with what they've been through, what they have done to the connection, and they're trying to focus. They're trying to focus or they're needing to focus on an apology. But I feel something is getting too deep and this energy is trying not to stress about it, but they're holding on to hope instead of speaking out. This is someone who is holding on to hope because they still have dark thoughts. Dark thoughts or dark emotions that still overwhelm them. I feel like these are dark thoughts or emotions that still overwhelm them when it comes to family issues, affairs of the heart, and things they have lost along the way. I feel like this energy also has some childhood wounds that they're dealing with, inner conflict, but they're still missing you. And even though this energy is still missing you, they're still emotionally unavailable, which always seems to break your heart. You know that this energy can do better. They just end up showing up short all the time because they're trying to impress. They're trying to live a life that is beyond their means. Someone's still not seeing the truth. And they're still giving in to temptation. This energy is still giving in to temptation when it comes to third parties' energies, uh, lust. This energy is still distracted. And that's why they're isolated. Holy Spirit, what is the messages here? Someone is wanting to rush in, but they don't know what you'll think about what they've done. The karmic energy. They're wanting to rush in because they know they long for your energy. But I feel whatever you did or whatever you said was definitely on target. Because it caused this energy to realize how bad things really are. Because instead of celebrating something with you, someone shattered your heart and detached. Someone shattered your heart and detached from a situation, making something more difficult than it needed to be. But I feel like this energy didn't see the truth until it was too late. Someone gave into this bad boy image and now they don't know who they are because they've lost their own identity. They've lost their own identity trying to fit in with energies that are not like them. And now they're wanting to send you an offer. But for many of you, you don't think this offer is solid. There's too much damage. For many of you, you feel like this damage is beyond repair so they're watching someone is watching you out of ego and shame pride because they're still dealing with inner conflict they're contemplating on the energy the love yet they feel like you don't feel the same so they could be moving silently secretly to create some type of balance for themselves and there could be a lot of sacrifice But I feel like this energy is now making an effort to make different choices. But I also feel they're at an empty stage. They're at an empty stage when it comes to a new perspective, when it comes to a main female, that is your energy. You don't have to be a female or male, but you could be in a space where you have nurtured this person. You have helped this person in a lot of ways. And you waited. You waited for them to get it right. You waited for them to come back and change things for something to be revealed an apology but there is a lack of communication here and there was no compromise someone struck out when it comes to you they were being skepticism there's a lot of energy where they just didn't believe in self now they're wanting to liberate themselves but don't know how to detach from their play ways Someone has been in this energy for quite some time. And this is why you feel like you can't believe what they say or nothing is solid when it comes to this energy. This is why they've isolated themselves because they don't know how to come at you. Hey, Spirit, what is the message here? Someone 
so as i said before you guys this energy really doesn't know how to come at you but i feel they want to communicate but they don't feel like it'll be a good idea someone's obsessed with the fact that you are a perfect match they regret trying to make you chase or play for your position a position that you should have already had wow someone is definitely wanting to make an offer wanting to communicate but they're not wanting to be rejected someone doesn't want to feel the same energy that they gave you i feel like someone can dish it but they definitely cannot take it but as i said before you're the reason for a lot of changes in their life even if they don't want to admit it but i also feel like the reasons they've always avoided you is because they've been hiding more than answers and for many of you, you already know that. I feel like this is someone who is at a distance because they don't really don't, they don't know how to explain themselves. There's a lot of shame, regret, passive aggressive energy here. For many of you, I feel like this energy is at a distance, not because you don't deserve an explanation, but because they're truly ashamed they're ashamed of the mess that they've made, causing many of you to just kind of be suspicious or drift away. Because even though they've done all of this, for some of you, you still care. You just don't really care for the pain, the obstacles, or the betrayal. Because even they know you deserve more. Yet instill their inability to respect or love themselves enough to see your value isn't on you. This is someone who needs to see the truth. Hmm. Someone needs to see the truth when it comes to you. And for many of you, they know you're not playing. They're still holding on. And they're still holding back. But I feel some type of fatal event will cause something to come breaking through I feel like a fatal event will cause a fight this is um this is not with you I feel like this is something concerning their environment people they chose to trust there's a lot of deception when it comes to a fool how many of you have restricted your energy your heart because there's a lot of wear and tear on this relationship where it feels like a, a love hate situation feels like a love-hate situation when it comes to a close bond, a twin flame, who is now seeing the truth about love. There's a lot of differences here because this energy play a lot of games, which caused an ending. And now they could be under pressure to change. I feel that could be a tough cycle when dealing with this energy because you tried, you tried so many times and the innocence, the innocence always end up getting hurt. But I also feel when opening this door, you will also be opening the door to some more regret. Someone seems to be on the right path, but they have yet to heal. As I said before in this reading, someone has a lot of love for you, but really not liking their energy. This energy is coming out as both good and bad. And you guys are going to have to decipher that difference hmm. but from what i can see this energy is still unhealed and needing to learn some valuable lessons when it comes to soul connections close bonds or affairs of the heart this is some final energy here holy spirit what is the messages what is the messages here for the collective energies This energy is coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. For many of you, you have blocked this energy out because of the fake energy that's given where someone is mentally, spiritually, and wow, financially bankrupt. Someone's bankrupt and still pretending to be something that they're not. This may cause many of you to feel like they'll never change. But someone is still looking you up, trying to research something. Uh, if they've been blocked from you, someone is trying to reach you through third parties or trying to find out information. 
But I feel like they're dealing with fake smiles, phonies. Hmm. They can't trust those around them. But I feel they're going to find that out the hard way, way as well. This energy is lost, confused, and still tripping. Someone's upset because you're uninterested because of all the drama. Someone's broke. Someone's coming up short. They regret investing their money in dark places and they're wanting, wanting to make an offer towards you. For some of you, you may see this as a dirty offer. You may decline this and this energy may still be on the outside looking in. This is someone who has gained a bad reputation for being reckless. But I also feel like this energy ignored you, talked about you, and blocked you. And now, they're dealing with the karma and the cause and effect of it. Someone's having a lot of paranoia, energy, anxiety, insomnia, nightmares. And they're moving in silence because they're triggered. Someone is moving in silence because they're triggered by their circumstances or how things ended up. <sighs> As this energy has a lot of good and a lot of bad, but they're still wasting time. I feel like this energy wasted a lot of time with scare tactics that they are now reflecting on because they're, they, they genuinely want to make you this offer. Someone genuinely wants to make a solid offer, but they feel like you're too busy winning to even care. Someone is having some car issues, some type of repo. Someone is having some issues with their stability. They feel like they can't count on earth others. And someone is having um, a mental breakdown. This could also be a lack mindset where someone is feeling caged in. This could also be someone being locked up. Please take it how it resonates. But they are curious. They're curious about you. But also they know they have wrecked their last chance. Someone knows that you're fed up. Someone knows that you are tired of the same thing, just a different day. For many of you, this is someone who has a very low IQ. And this is why things are just played out. Because this energy has yet to come up with a new plan. They're tired of people taking from them. This could be the energy of you as well. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel this situation has caused you to boss up in some type of way. And they were not ready for that. Someone is seeing the truth about their drama and they know they that you have every right to reject or protect yourself from them because for many of you you had to let go you had to let go so they can somehow figure things out which also gives you the opportunity to do the same yeah i feel no matter how this plays out you're going to be pushed to make a choice you're going to be pushed to make a choice that you don't understand at first. Yet once you realize which seats no longer belong at the table, the more peaceful things will become. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.